Hello friends, my name is Samantha and welcome back to another Wednesday Wisdom, your midweek inspirational pick-me-up. You made it halfway through the week And you should suck it out if it's happiness you seek Yeah, halfway through the week You made it halfway through the week Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't know if it's obvious what my favorite color is or not, but it's yellow. Also, yes, I'm not wearing makeup. I just didn't feel like it and it kind of a little bit ties into what I want to talk about today. It is the Wednesday after Thanksgiving and I kind of wanted to get this video up last week, but I've had so much family, not issues, just like medical issues, I guess, going on and it's been stressful and sad so i just needed a breather thank you this time of year can be great for reflection when it comes to what you're thankful for and being around all the people that you love it's almost like it's so concentrated right here right now in this span of like late november into end of december and then the new year starts so what I want to talk about today, it's actually kind of a challenge. Jot down those captions that you wrote on Instagram of what you're thankful for and I want you to reflect on this. But in all seriousness, I want you to sit down and go through everything that you right now are reflecting on being thankful for. I want you to put it in a place where you can check back on this piece of paper, uh, write on the back of a receipt. Um, maybe a gum wrapper from your purse or, uh, you can't really write on pocket lint, that was going to be my next suggestion, but just have it somewhere easily accessible because I want you to go back to this piece of paper, this list of things that you're thankful for in three months, six months, and nine months because it's so easy to get wrapped up in everyday life, like whether that is work or friendships, relationships, your family, like all sorts of like positive and unfortunate situations, like life can be a whirlwind. And because of that, it's so easy to forget these things. And then on the other hand, sometimes you just get into such a strict routine of like, work, eat, sleep, repeat, work, eat, sleep, repeat, you know what I mean? Where like, you you don't think to think about those things because you're so like, almost robotic in what you do in your day-to-day -day life. And it's so important to stay in tune with those things because it could constantly keep you inspired and motivated and again, thankful, which is a beautiful thing to be. The whole no makeup thing, uh, one of the things I'm most thankful for is the growth that I am proud of. The self growth through, even before Ryan came in and unfortunately out of my life. I mean, he's still influencing me every day, but even before all of that happened, the person that I was, say in like 2011, is nothing to be proud of, but I'm so proud of who I am today. And like, being able to be thankful for my self-love and self-care is something that I need to be more aware of if that makes any sense. Like I'm also so thankful obviously for like all of Ryan's friends and family. I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for Jamie and her family. Thankful for all my friends that stuck with me through all of this. Like even though I spent a good portion of time being super antisocial because I was sad but they still picked right back up where we left off. And it's just, I feel like I've been blessed in this situation to have a lot to be thankful for. And even if you don't feel thankful for something, you're thankful for something. You just aren't, you aren't giving the right energies to the right things. And like I said, if you have this list and you check back in three months and you check back in six months and you check back in the nine months, you constantly keep that positivity and that support system and everything that should be keeping you going is keeping you going because you're giving it the gratitude and the thankfulness that it deserves. And when you put out that positive energy, being thankful for all these things, 
all the positive energy is just gonna come back to you. You should know that by now. But I'm gonna leave it at that. This was just a quick little challenge to a little like message in a bottle for yourself to be thankful and stay thankful for whatever it is you were thankful for this Thanksgiving. Oh my god, how many times I say thanks in this video. Please like, share, and subscribe if you're into this kind of thing. And stay positive, my friends, and have a wonderful last day. You made it halfway through the week. And you should talk it out if it's happiness you seek. Yeah, halfway through the week.